Squares. Great to have you here, Martin Mull and our entire gang. Give it up for them here in our big old Tic Tac show board. We have our returning champion. He has $4,500 in King World cash, just like real currency. Jaisal Shaw, welcome, Jaisal. Good to have you back. And your new challenger in the circle position, Gene Kim. Hi, Hi Gene. Nice How are you? Good. Welcome. I'm fine. Thank you. Now, uh, why don't you tell us a bit about yourself? Sure, Tom. I grew up in Queens, New York, but currently I live in Carlsbad, California with my wonderful husband, John. We'll be celebrating our 10th year anniversary in just a few months. We have two precious little girls, Emmy and Miley. I'm a full-time stay-at-home mom, and on a part-time basis, I'm taking courses to become a certified counselor, and I'm so excited to be here. Oh, good. Well, good to have you here. Welcome. All right. We have just wrapped up a bonus round at the end of yesterday's show, so it's a brand new best two out of three match. Uh, you win two games, uh, you go on to our bonus round as our new champ, uh, Gene. Jason is going to try to prevent you from doing that, of course. But as the challenger, you do get to start. Okay, great. I will go with Martin Mall, please. Martin Mall. All right, Martin. Who did, uh, who did Jennifer Lopez tell Dateline wears the pants in their relationship, Ben Affleck or her? Well, congratulations, Tom. You have finally found the one thing in the world I care the very least about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, wait, wait a minute, wait. Here's two things. Gili's coming out on DVD. <laughs> <laughs> That's a, that would be a tight second. Yeah. I'm sure if she said it, you know, it's she probably meant her. I don't... Yeah, so let's say her. She said she does. I disagree. She said Ben does. Uh, yeah, Circle gets the square. <laughs> Jason? Chris Spencer. Chris Spencer, host of Chocolate Sundays at the Laugh Factory Hollywood every Sunday, 8 and 10.30. Chris, a Russian cosmonaut recently made space history when he did this to a woman while in orbit. Oh. What did he do to her? Showed her his space balls. No. Uh, sorry. Uh, helped her deliver a baby. Okay. I disagree. Oh, he married her. She was on Earth, and he took his vows in space. X gets the square. G. Eartha Kid, please. Eartha Kid, her book, Rejuvenate, is in stores now. Uh, let's yeah. now, Catwoman. Let's talk something you know about uh, Batman and Robin. All right. Yeah, the Batman well. and Robin comics added Aunt Harriet to live in Wayne Manor after a real-life psychologist accused the dynamic duo of what? Maybe they thought he would. They two of them were a little bit, you know. <laughs> Which I wouldn't give a meow about, but but I could say. That they might have been gay and they wanted to change that illusion. I agree. Yeah, so, so Aunt Harriet might have been their beard, too. But yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Circle. <laughs> Circle gets it. Jason. Gina Lee Nolan for the block. Gina Lee Nolan for the block. You were telling me backstage you got that top in India. Is that yes, right? Yes, I, I did get this in India. Do you like it? Yeah, that's very much yeah. right. Yeah, what was, huh? It's just very sparkly. I yes, like it is. Yeah. It's certainly that. It's um, <laughs> what was the Chicago Times talking about when they said the cheek of every American must tingle with shame as he reads the silly, flat, and dishwatery utterances? Oh, uh, <laughs> the Harry Potter book. I agree. No, the Gettysburg Address. <laughs> <laughs> they, were, they were criticizing Lincoln. Hey, I bluffed her. Yeah, very nice. Uh, Jean, I can't give you that one. You have to earn it yourself. Okay, Ginelli Nolan for the win, please. All right. Very good. <laughs> Etiquette expert Letitia Baldridge says a tall man needs an extra long one and a fat man needs a wide one. Hmm. What is it? To make him, uh, let's see. I would say, I could say so much. Yeah. <laughs> What's worrying me is the guy's checking his right now. <laughs> well, see, I have, you know, pen and... Yes. Um, boom, boom, boom. Uh, I will say a vest. A vest. A vest. A vest. For the win. I agree. A tie. Oh. A tie. X. 
gets the square. You're still in this game, Jay. So plot your next move. We'll find out where you're going when we come back right after this. Stick around. Squares, we'll get right back to our gameplay, but first, I just want to tell you that any player who wins our bonus round three times will be driving home in this. It's a brand new Jaguar! The Jaguar S-Type 3.0 is dynamic, rewarding to drive, and superbly equipped with state-of-the-art safety features that optimize both protection and handling agility from Rusnak Pasadena. All right. Thank you, John. Let's get back to our first game. And, Jason, it was your turn. Stephen Collins for the Stephen win. Stephen Collins, the Reverend Eric Camden, 7th Heaven, Monday nights on the WB. Stephen, strictly speaking, what makes a church a cathedral? Bake sales, bake sales, <laughs> bake sales. <laughs> That's so true. I believe that a cathedral is built to house the music of the church, as well as just the church service. All right. I agree. If a bishop and not just a regular priest presides, bingo, you got a cathedral. That, that's, uh, that's it. Circle. <laughs> Circle gets that one. Yes. Okay, great. Gee. Judy Tenuta for the win. Judy Tenuta. Her column, the scandal meter, appears weekly in the National Enquirer. You're going to have a whole Hollywood Square scandal meter? I am. Oh, I have good. a lot of good big, dirt. Big week of dirt. Okay. Who does the all-knowing Dr. Joyce Brothers say has more sex, educated people or uneducated people? More sex. Yeah. Uh, that would be Penn and Teller. <laughs> <laughs> I mean it as a friend. Uh, let's see. Who has more sex, the educated or... That would have to be the uneducated, because the rest of us are reading, I think. <laughs> <laughs> You know, they never have anything to do, so they're busy spawning. <laughs> the, the uneducated people. I agree. Yes, you've got the win. Circle gets it. Uneducated, yeah. All right. Now, Jason, to retain your championship, you have to win the next two. To take it away, you have to win one more. This next game is a secret square $1,000 game, and here's what's in the secret square stash. It's the gift of movie-going from AMC Theaters. The AMC Entertainment Card is the ultimate gift for that special movie buff. Use it to catch the latest film or to enjoy your favorite movie snack. Available now at AMC Theaters nationwide in a variety of increments to fit any budget. Save a seat for me. All right, John, thank you. Let's show all of you at home who the secret square is. <laughs> How much did we spend on the new sound effect package this season? <laughs> All right, Gene, you get to start this one. Martin Malkin. Martin Malkin. Oh, super square. Martin Malkin, right out of the gate. All right, Martin, a little uh, visual aid here. Gregory Peck, in a role that earned him an Oscar nomination, is it from Gentleman's Agreement, The Man in the Gray Flannel Suit, or To Kill a Mockingbird? It's not To Kill a Mockingbird. And the other two were... Gentleman's Agreement and The Man in the Gray Flannel Suit. Well, you know, it, it just sure looks like he's got a suit coat that goes with that outfit. So I'm going to go with the uh, gray flannel suit. All right. I disagree. Gentlemen's agreement. Oh, okay. You got it. Yeah, yeah. Circle gets the square. And the secret square AMC Entertainment card. Jason. Judy Tenuta. Judy Tenuta. All right, Judy. Here we go. Every male deer has them, but a female's only reindeer typically do have what? Stag parties. <laughs> Wait, I have to do my tribute to every woman in Beverly Hills. Please. Mm. Okay, come on. <laughs> um, yeah, that would have to be, oh, I know, that would have to be antlers. Definitely antlers. Definitely I agree. antlers. Antlers, yes, with the musical flourish. Yes, antlers. X gets the square. We get a break. Who will emerge as champion? Well, we'll find out in a minute. Stay around. Song is... 
Tom and see if you can beat these current leaders. Welcome back. We're in the second game of our best two out of three match. And challenger Gene Kim, it is your turn. Kennedy, please. Kennedy, all right. Host of Friend or Foe on the Game Show Network. All right, Kennedy, her middle names are Louise Veronica. Her last name is Chicone, but you know her better as whom? Nathan Lane. <laughs> <laughs> Louise Veronica, is, it goes Louise Veronica Chicone? Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> well, I think there can only be one name that goes with those other three, and that is Madonna. I agree. Yes, it is. That's right. Circle. Gets the square. All right, Jason. Tyson Beckford for the block. Tyson Beckford for the block. Woo! Tyson, what TV show did Americans choose to appear on a series of stamps commemorating the 1980s? Uh, say, Miami Vice. Miami Vice. I disagree. The Cosby Show. The Cosby, the Cosby Show. X gets blocked there. All right, Gene. I'll go with Chris Spencer for the block, Chris please. Spencer for the block. Oh, All right, Chris. Oh. Chris, what does it mean if your bottle of whiskey is 80 proof? It means it has a lot of alcohol in it. And how much would that be, Chris? <laughs> 80 proof. 80% <laughs> uh, of alcohol. 80% alcohol. I agree. 40% alcohol. Can't give you that one, Jason. You have to earn it yourself. Chris Spencer for the win. And a tie if you get it. Okay. Playboy magazine regularly hides something on its cover that many readers enjoy looking for. What do they hide? Hugh Hefner's teeth? <laughs> no. The symbol of money. All right, the symbol of money. I disagree. No, it's the bunny silhouette that's their trademark. X gets it. We have a tie game. All right, our tiebreaker game, which will determine our champion, is worth $1,000. And Jaisal, our defending champion, kicks it off. Martin Mall, please. All right, Martin, here we go. Where would you find the sea of serenity, the sea of fertility, and the sea of tranquility? I believe those are all up. They're on the moon. I agree. Yes, they are. X gets the square. We get a break. The tiebreaker game continues right after this. Stick around. Getting away. Welcome back. We are in the rubber game, which will determine who's the champion, who goes on to the bonus round, and uh, our challenger, Gene Kim. It is your turn. Penn and Teller, please. Penn and okay. Teller appearing every night except Tuesdays at Rio in Las Vegas. All right, guys, each year for a week, Laura Bush goes to a secret location with a group of friends to do what? Weep uncontrollably. <laughs> Just break down. Let it out. Let it out, Laura. Oh, it's another one of these. You know, I read about this, and it's, it's not good. It's like hiking and stuff like that. It's not reading. It's not studying. It's not getting better. It's hiking, I think. It's hiking. I'm telling the truth, really. I am. I'm hiking. Retreat. I yep. agree. It is. Yeah, yes. that's exactly See? right. If you Circle. trust me, it's all yes, beautiful. I love you, Jimmy. All you got to do is Jason. trust me. <laughs> Tyson Beckford. Tyson Beckford. All right, Tyson. <laughs> Get with the rest of the group, all right? <laughs> the French have created a new word, Coriel, to take the place of what English term they recently banned from official use, Coriel. Pornography. Yeah. I agree. Email. They banned email. Oh. Circle gets it. Gene. Judy Tenuta, please. Judy Tenuta. All right, Judy. Gene. We see it every day, but in 1803, the first one of these familiar things was put into the White House. The first what? Okay, in 1803, one of yeah. the first things, I would say the first in a series of liars. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, telegraph. 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 First telegraph. Machine. I agree. First toilet. Oh. First toilet. Oh. X oh. gets the square. Jason, break for you. 
Stephen Collins for the win. And the championship is defended if you get this one. All right, Stephen, Reverend Camden, you've just daisy-chained your joystick. What are you doing? Something that got me thrown out of parochial school. <laughs> You're getting ready to play a video game. For the championship. I disagree. Yeah, your, your daisy chaining is how you link joysticks together uh, for, a, for a video game for more than one player. Circle gets that one. Gene? Kennedy for the win! Kennedy for the championship! All right. Kennedy, does a U.S. senator get paid more than a member of the House of Representatives? Yes. For the championship. <laughs> I agree. No. Oh. <laughs> they both get paid the same. X gets that one. Jason, you're still in this. Eartha Kitt. Eartha Kitt. All right, Eartha. In Greek mythology, sirens were typically shown as having the head of a woman and the body of what? Uh, what the, he the head of a woman on a... Um, well, it has to be an animal, right? I'm Would not allowed to answer questions <laughs> from the squares. <laughs> I would say on a cat. On a cat. I disagree. On a bird. On a bird. Yay! X. Guess the square. All right, Gene. Gina Lee Nolan for the block. Gina please. Lee for the block. All right, Gina Lee. The German Association for Tooth Protection <laughs> says after you do this, you should wait at least a half hour before brushing. After you do what? Oh, I'd say eating. Okay. I disagree. Drinking carbonated sodas. You really? have your block, courtesy of the German Association for Tooth Protection. Yes. Jason? Chris Spencer for the five square win. Five square win, and you'll retain your championship if you get this. In a study of 144 cities, Chris, which was recently named the world's most expensive place to live? New York or Tokyo? Tokyo. To keep the championship. I agree. New York was 10th. It was Tokyo. Yeah, X gets the square. And the win for another $1,000. We are out of time. Gene Kim, we're going to give you $1,000. Thank you so much. Thanks for being Thank here. You. Thanks for being here as well. It was great. But, Jason, you got two grand. You, you saved your championship. Thank Good you. Going. Thank you. All right. Now, we're out of time. When we come back tomorrow, Jason will play the bonus round right out of the gate. Until then, I'm Tom Bergeron for all our stars. I hope you join us tomorrow for Hollywood Square. Bye-bye. Danny Bonaduce, host. Yeah, hi. I just want to say your show is really great tonight. There's some really nice stars. But get rid of that big jerk that calls people fools all the time. He's annoying. Put, a, put some masking tape on his mouth and let the little guy talk. Okay, that's my comment. Keep up the good work. Bye.